Hey guys and welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and it's time for a Tuesday tip. Recently on YouTube I've seen tons and tons of videos of mainly beauty gurus following other beauty gurus tutorials and I thought it would be really fun to go to the king of DIY himself who let's face it is a massive influence on us all and follow one of his tutorials. Now because I've been breaking down tanks and cleaning tanks like you saw in last Tuesday's video I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to follow his tutorial on how to paint the back of an aquarium. Now I have a lot of tanks that need this done and eventually I would like all of the aquariums down here to match. So I'm going to go ahead and follow Joey's tutorial and I'll show you bits and pieces of it throughout the video and we'll see how it turns out. Now the first step according to his tutorial is as follows. Okay so we're now ready to paint the aquarium. A number of things you want to consider first is which color are you choosing. I like to pick solid colors that are pretty dull. And what I mean by dull is not orange, green, things like that. I like to use either black or blue. Before we get started with looking at the supplies we're going to need, let's first prepare the tank. You're going to need to clean the tank glass. Make sure that it's nice and clean. As I showed you guys last week, I've already cleaned the aquarium I'm going to use, which is that same 10 gallon. Once you've done that, make sure the aquarium's dry and we can move on to the supplies. I go to my local dollar store or, you know, maybe you call it a buck or two or whatever your cheap place is. And I like to simply pick up their dollar menu uh, paint rollers. We're looking to get paint, uh, I'm sorry, sponge rollers. And it comes with a little dandy, uh, you know, paint tray as well. The reason why we're doing sponge rollers is simple. If you use a paint brush or a sponge brush, it tends to drag the paint across the glass and you don't get as good as coverage. You tend to have to use more paint just to cover the glass. For the actual paint, this is going to be a big one for a lot of people. For the most part, any paint is going to be fine based on the fact uh, that the paint's not actually going into the aquarium. So I like to use uh, an all-purpose acrylic paint. I use this for a number of reasons. One, it's cheap. Uh, two, it's completely safe. It's non-toxic. That doesn't mean I can go ahead and dump it into the tank as an additive, but simply gives you a little bit more peace of mind. Now next we're going to get together our supplies. I went to the dollar store just like Joey and I picked up one of the foam roller kits that has the little tray. Mine also came with gloves and a brush and it's pretty cheap and janky, but I'm sure it's going to work just fine for this application. Now, he did say in his video that he used uh, an upgraded one, but I'm going to try this just because why not? It was only a dollar. Um, up next, he talks about the type of paint to use, and he recommends general acrylic. Now, normally when I'm painting the background of my tanks, I'll use uh, spray paint like Krylon Fusion, but... I'm following this tutorial and honestly I don't like to spray paint inside the house and with how bad my knee is, uh, I don't want to be carrying tanks inside and outside. So this seemed like a perfect and cheap solution. I went to my local art store where I had um, an online coupon for 40% off and got this quart of black acrylic paint for about $4. So really about the same price as the paint that he picked up at his dollar store. Anyways. Let's go ahead and get started with painting it. Okay, so I'm ready to get started on painting. One little thing that you might want to consider before you do start painting is getting some painter's tape and taping off all of your trim so you don't get paint on it. It can make a real mess and make it look bad. He suggests first that we tape off the edges, so I'm going to go ahead and do that again with my dollar store painter's tape, and then we'll continue with the tutorial. Now again, this surface is clean. I'll put a link to that video from last week below. All right, so our surface is clean, our tape is applied. Let's see what he says next. So uh, we're just painting it like you would paint a wall. We're not looking to gop it on. We're just doing a little bit of paint on the, uh, the foam roller at a time. Uh, typically speaking, you want to start at one end and work your way over and try to do all in the same motion. You don't want to be really be going up and down and all over the place. Um, not on your first coat. First coat go one way, second coat go the next. Now in Joey's video, 
He said next to start applying the paint. Again, oh, I just got that all over me. Um, again, I picked up this paint for about $4 at my local craft store. I'm gonna put it into my tray. Uh, he had the little two ounce bottles of black acrylic paint, which were a dollar at his dollar store. This is 32 ounces for $4, so it's actually cheaper. And I'll be able to do all my aquariums with this. Take it, and he suggested applying it from side to side on the aquarium. One other um, paint I like to really use on aquariums is Plasti Dip. It's about $10 for a spray can of it, and it's also very easy to remove. As Joey says is in the end of his video, one of the real benefits of using acrylic paint like this is that it's very, very easy to take off. You can simply scrape it off with a razor blade. Now one of the other nice things about acrylic paint is that it dries really, really fast. So this is a super quick process. I'm just going against the grain here to get up by the trim. So that's it, tank's done painted. As you can see, this looks fantastic. A nice solid black background. All I'll have to do is wait for it to dry, take a razor blade to the edges, remove my tape, and it will be good to go less than a three dollar solution to a black aquarium background can't beat that i'd like to send joey a big thank you for doing this tutorial as well as so many others that help so many of us in the hobby as always thank you guys for your continued support make sure you have that notification bell on so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos stop by my instagram and my facebook so that you can get some additional content and let me know below if you have any comments suggestions or questions